Hi Brats, this is Natalie Briggs from www.nataliebriggs.com um, I sell on Etsy and Made It and I make sexy luxury handmade garters for every modern bride. Okay, I'm just going to answer a few questions today and lots of questions that I get from lots of my customers. Um, mainly, most customers don't know what leg to wear it on. Um, there's no right or wrong leg that you wear your garter. You can wear it on any leg you want, whatever feels more comfortable. That's the idea. You have to wear it where it's more comfortable. You should be walking around with this around your leg all day. Um, not many people wear garters on a day-to-day -day basis, so wherever it's more comfortable is best for you. Okay, so where to wear your garter on the leg? I'm just going to demonstrate in my jeans because I don't have great legs. Um, most brides will wear it just a couple of inches above the knee, about 10 centimetres. Um, this is just normally because that's where the leg goes in a little bit more, so when you're walking, the garter's not going to rub at all. Um, depending, everyone's got different legs, different shapes, different sizes. Uh, you can wear it a lot higher, or you can wear it literally just above the knee. Uh, some brides do like to wear it just below the knee, but I wouldn't recommend that as the garters are a little bit too big to be below the knee, it's probably going to fall down. But yeah, I'd recommend just about a few inches or 10 centimetres above the knee. Okay, that's one question down. Uh, the next question is, how do you know if a standard fit garter is going to fit you? Um, most garters, including my garters, are fit from 14 inches to 22 inches. And Australia, that's 35 centimetres to 55 centimetres. Um, I'll show you how to measure. So you can take measuring tape if you've got one. Um, if you don't have a measuring tape, just use a piece of string. Put it around your leg. So measure here. Okay, so I'm 17 and a half inches. That's pretty much standard between 17 and 19 inches. I most of my brides are. Um, if you have a piece of string, just do the same thing, and then put. When you imagine this is a piece of string, mark where it is. Okay, so it's that one. Get a ruler and put it against it and you can measure that. Um, I then take that measurement and make your garter about two or three inches smaller. So when it stretches out a little bit, that's what's actually keeping the garter up is the stretch. Once you get the garter, it's not going to be your size, it's going to be a little bit smaller. So that's how you measure a garter. Uh, what other questions are there? Um, what's the whole history about the bridal garter? Like, why, why does it exist? Should I even have a bridal garter for my wedding? You don't have to, but I think it's quite fun to have with your lingerie, your bridal lingerie, uh, especially for your wedding night. Um, you don't always have to do the garter toss. Uh, I have many brides who just get a single garter without the toss garter to go underneath. They keep it on all day. Uh, and then when it comes to their honeymoon or wedding night, they work for just that. Uh, I have many brides buying two garters, one for the wedding, one for the honeymoon. Um, mainly because my garters are a bit more sexier and modern than any other garters that are out there at the moment. I'll show you some of my range. I've got quite a few um, on www.nataliebriggs.etsy.com. Um, these are just a few that I've got on hand at the moment because I'm a little bit out of stock being so busy with orders. Um, this one was recently featured on Etsy's newsletter uh, about a week ago, so I'm pretty happy about that, that's great. Uh, this one is my most popular garter, uh, mainly because it's quite vintage, classic looking, but with like quite modern still. Um, it has the black lace, which is kind of kinky. Um, ivory satin, most wedding dresses are ivory, many brides want to match the colour of the wedding dress to the garter, you don't have to. Um, all of my garters are customisable, you can change the colours of the satin. I can change some of the colours of the laces, but not all colours. There's only so many dyes out there you can dye lace. Um, and this one's also got glass pearl beads, which is nice. And one of my more latest additions, uh, I'm starting to get more of a champagne range. Many brides are choosing champagne instead of white or ivory dresses now. I think it looks quite elegant. Um, if it was up to me, I probably would have had champagne in my own wedding. Now that I look at it, 
Um, this one's quite cool, it's quite fun to make. It's a little lollipop flower with a little bit of um, Russian birdcage coming out of the side. So that's fun. Um, I also make bridal baskets, which I don't have any to show you at the moment, but I do have my ring pillows. Uh, this is my more popular ring pillow, and if you go um, to my website, I've got some pictures of a ring bearer boy um, holding my ring pillow, which looks quite cute. Um, this one's quite cool because it's very vintagey looking and still modern. Uh, it's got a little crystal brooch and it's nice and small and light for the kids to handle. It's not going to be this giant pillow they have to walk down the aisle with. Okay, um, just a note that I am in Australia. Uh, most of my customers are in America, so it is going to take me about two or three weeks to get a garter to you, so just bear that in mind and don't order at the last time, at the last minute. Um, other than that, if you have any questions, just contact me by email at nataliebriggs at live.com.au. Anything you want to ask about garters at all or find me on Facebook or Twitter through my website and I'll be happy to answer them. Okay, thank you. Bye.